there's lots of idling going on of internal combustion engines that we are dead set against. Engine idling is, is, uh, is really like secondhand smoke. The law says you can't idle your engine for more than three minutes, but the law is not being enforced. It has become unacceptable practice to park your car and leave your engine running. Our children's lungs can no longer afford motor vehicles being used as personal climate control devices. We have to get people to turn their engines off. What do you intend to do? Come with me, I'll show you. I was wondering if you were aware that in New York City you can't let your engine idle for more than three minutes. Come on, man, yeah, you're yeah. pain in the ass. You might not be aware, but in the city of New York you can't idle your uh, engine of your truck for more than three minutes. Would you hold down the window for me if I asked well, you, 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 you have a kind, you have a, you have a kind to me. Please stop harassing us. Are you aware that in the city of New York you can't idle your car engine for more than three minutes? Yeah. Now go to the rest of them. I wanted to have a statistical database and approach this scientifically, not just as a crank. You have George Packingham, who is so obsessed with this particular subject. That's how it started with me, me being concerned about a life quality issue in my particular neighborhood. But he's got cards in his head now, with the law on one side and the penalties on the other. I think having the card really helps. It's like a badge. It gives you a kind of a, a sense of authority. Like I'm an educator, not just a vigilante. We've got 2,500 officers out there on the street, and they today don't have the power to issue a ticket for idle. 77% will shut off their engines with only me asking them to do that. It's ridiculous. Doesn't make any sense. Turn 